Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Monday, March 16th, 2020. 16 degrees on one app, weather app, 29 on another. Go figure, who do you believe? Uh, it is bright and sunny. Got some city chickens on the wire. This is another end of the world broadcast. I don't know if I'm alive or dead, if the virus killed me yet, or how many people it's killed while I was sleeping, but I'm here with my co-star, Samuel. Samuel, you want to go in the house? No, you don't even want to look at the camera, do you? All right, we'll let you in. Mike, Max, and Elsa are outside. God is singing to us in the chimes. Cardinals are singing at in the distance, robins, all kinds of birds out there singing. Looks like life happening to me, but what I, what do I know? I'm really tired. I woke, you know, probably around 6.30, but I just couldn't move. I worked my butt off yesterday, and, uh, oh, look at, there's my Elsie. There's my lady. There's Lady Elsie. Look at that pretty girl. Look at that beautiful lady right there. Look at that pretty girl. Yeah, she's my sweetheart. Look at Sammy wants to come back out. Go on in, Elsie. Did you have a good adventure? I love you. There she goes. Going to be some hooking and jabbing there? I guess not. Um, but yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. I worked my butt off. I am tired. I had some different dreams and uh, didn't sleep real well, I guess. Well, I don't know about that. I'm just tired. I worked my butt off yesterday. I really did. Uh, at the store, unloading a lot of stuff, or not unloading, but stacking and loading and filling shelves and things like that. Look at that. She went in and she wants to come out. But I might as well tell you, one of the dreams I had was uh, doing some kind of volunteer help at the, the friendship room. And then Randy and I had to go somewhere. And we were driving in this big Cadillac, only it was set up so you could drive it backwards. All you had to do was push a button and it would drive backwards. All the controls would work in reverse. And from that, there was another dream where I was with uh, out at Rockport. I biked out to Rockport, and they were making all these changes out there that I didn't like. And all these people that I knew from out there that were out there, they were uh, they ended up at my house camping out and sleeping over, and we were getting up and having coffee in the morning, you know, and they were feeding their kids and all this stuff, and it was really twisted. And then the last dream I had after I went back to bed and laid down for a while, I uh, was with my brother John and I went for a bike ride over to Neiman's and picked up some steaks and we had some steaks. And it was really weird because somehow my handlebar got into the oven and it was melting, the grip was melting on it, I don't know. But anyway, it's the end of the world, it's another end of the world of edition of the Mike Show. Uh, look at there's Sammy again. All the panic still going on, everything shutting down, food food disappearing from the shelves, and people just coming in and filling up carts and saying, oh no, they're not panicking, we just have kids to feed. Oh, you're panicking. And this one group came in, they didn't quite get my humor, and I wasn't really appreciating them. I honestly think they were from somewhere else. I think they were from another town, I really do. I'd never seen them in the store before. And they didn't realize, at least I thought, they were just being trying to be so pushy, you know, and they're all telling me this and that, and they said, oh, we're just trying to help, you know. At one point I said to them, oh, you got a medical emergency? Oh, what is that? I said, well, you seem to be in a real big hurry. No, we're just trying to help. You know, right, whatever. But anyway, yeah, it's getting real old for me dealing with all this crap. Uh... And I don't know, you know, everybody's saying that they're worried about their kids and they're getting food for their kids. And you look at what they're buying. Ramen noodles. One of the most least, one of the least nutritious things out there. You know, God only knows what they're made of. And you look at the nutrition content and it's basically zero. And uh, like 38% sodium for the day in one single serving. Oh boy, you really love your kids and all the other garbage that they're feeding them, you know. But not real food, not food that you gotta actually cook and prepare yourself, which to me is something that I it's it this this thing is pointing out a whole flaw in what we're doing and us being the virus on this planet with all our packaging and 
feeding on soylent green as I call it, all this pre-made stuff, not only is it bad for us, but the whole the whole environment it's bad for everything from the packaging and all the waste that goes on there and the trash and the plastic and everything else, you know, it's just it's a classic example of seeing this, you know. We ran out of toilet paper again, which produced me to uh or pushed me into looking up and seeing when when, it, when was it actually invented? In the modern versions, uh were invented in like 1857. I can't think of the night guy's name. So I think it's Gayetti or something like that, or Gayetti. I don't know. But in reading the article I did, the Chinese were using it. You know, six, seven hundred years ago, even longer than that. You know, and if you if you look up toilet paper and when it was invented on the in, on your uh, smartphone or on the internet or whatever, you'll you'll be surprised to see. Uh, how long it's been around and all the various other things people have used throughout the years to, uh, well, let's just say it, wipe their ass after they're done, <laughs> you know, <laughs> having their uh, daily BM or whatever you want to call it, dropping the kids in the pool, you know, using the litter box, I don't care, look at, we got a couple city chickens coming in. i just been on a rambling, yeah, rambling roll here, haven't I? More city chickens coming down, so. I'm going to pause for a moment, because speaking of sandbox, I might need to go use the litter box. And uh, Mikey's the only one still outside, and we will be back in a moment. Welcome back to the Least Watch Show on YouTube. I am your host, Buck Amal. We got a few city chickens out there, and the second one from the left there is out there doing some kind of courtship dancing. He's trying to get a little... He's making the song, and every once in a while he's puffing out his feathers and dancing around out there. Yeah. Look at him go. So anyway, coffee's tasting so-so. It's not really tasting as really good as it has been of late. And this is that same Ethiopian coffee I'm drinking. Uh, Mikey popped in while, while I was out using the, the, the cat box, and Oh boy, I think Sam and Else went back upstairs and I'm hoping to get some company because it's warmed up nice out here and I want to sit here with my loves for a while and when they go take their mid-morning or afternoon naps or whatever it's going to be, I'm going to hop on a bike, run and get some chicken base and beef base if I can find it and some chickpeas. But other than that, I'm just making do with what food we have around here. I'm not falling into it. Hey, I'm back again, and look, I'm smiling. Grandfather's son is feeling really good. Sammy did come to join me. He wasn't upstairs. Maxie was out here, but went back in the house. I don't know where Mike and Elsa are. But uh, going back to that spiel I had about toilet paper and ass wiping, whatever you want to call it, you know, the bottom line is humanity made do without toilet paper for a long time. Well, what's... What, I call humanity, which isn't very humane, but I'm sure we'll survive, you know, but people just don't think about it. Uh, I mentioned the other day about going camping, you know, and what I meant by that in part was that people got it too soft, they need to get away from their technology, all the conveniences, and I'm talking to camping with a pup tent and a mess kit and whatever food you can carry in your pack that's non-perishable, you know. And go out there and experience it and dig a cat hole and crap in the ground, man. Wipe your ass with some leaves, you know. <laughs> but hey, and uh, anyway, we're going to pause again. Here we are again, and we're just about ready to close out. Uh, yeah, you know, when I was a kid, so much more stuff was just plainly wrapped. And even before my generation came in boxes and glass and paper, you know, and not, not all this plastic and all this bullshit, and it was real food. I mean, I was part of the generation, I think, where, oh, there goes a street kitty. God bless you, mister. Um, where they started really experimenting on us and seeing what, they, what we could take as humans. But, eh. I'm getting all sidetracked. All I want to say now is I will be going out doing some biking today. There's Maxie. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this company with these love, my company or this company, these loves. 
pay the electric bill I think today I have to do that by phone because the offices are closed because of the coronavirus uh, I want to go get some beef and chicken base some chickpeas and I want to ride at least 20 miles today that's my goal found, found some really good firewood to cut up and burn a nice maple branch we'll do that today too hopefully I have a fire tonight and that's about it I don't know but the theme songs of late for me have been R.E.M. It's the End of the World and uh, The Clash, London Calling, to help me just laugh and realize the virus that we, have, we are to this planet, the virus that humanity and mankind is to this planet is finally coming back to bite us in the ass, I think. So that's all we have. And I don't know if we're going to be able to stop this one, but, you know, at the same time, I know it's not as bad as they say it is. All the gloom and doom I've lived through since I've been born. Everything that was supposed to kill us off and we're still here. So that's all we have for this fine, fine Monday morning. Have a wonderful day. And keep on trying. And if it's your fate to die or my fate to die, keep on dying from this filthy disease or virus. Have a great, great day.